What's up guys? Today we're changing the brakes on the Corolla. I got new brake pads, new brake rotors. Um, the front ones are very worn out, so we're about to do a brake job on it. So the parts you'll need for this job are obviously brake rotors. If you choose to replace them, I chose to replace them because mine are pretty bad and old and I just think it's uh, I'm better off getting new ones rather than getting them resurfaced. You will need brake pads. I chose some ceramic pads. Um, all the links will be in the description, so if you're interested, just check the description. And you will need some basic tools to remove the wheel, such as a breaker bar and a torque wrench to put it back on. And in my case, I'll need the special uh, uh, lug nut key or whatever it's called to get those off. And other than that, you'll need I'm pretty sure a 12 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter socket, but it's a very simple job, it's quick, so let's get started. All right, so we wanna make sure that it's in gear or park and that the handbrake is all the way up. And before we jack up the car, we obviously have to break the lug nuts loose, otherwise the car will just, other wheel will just spin. Now on the stock wheels, this is gonna be a 21 millimeter socket. Next, you wanna get your jack and your jack stands, and let's jack up the car. All right, so let's take the wheels off, see if we get your, uh, your socket and just take off the lug nut. All right, so here we have the brake rotor. Um, this is actually just dirt, so this is not actually rust. Um, I just actually pulled the car out of a puddle of dirt before I pulled it in the garage, so that's what this is. Uh, this is the brake caliper, the racket that holds the brake caliper, the caliper slide pins here, and the pads are right in there. And you can see, well you can't really see, but I can see that they're really, really worn down. Um, this whole thing here is water. This is not brake fluid leaking from anywhere, this is just water. So uh, let's get the caliper off. The way to do that is you take a 14 millimeter socket, put it onto the top uh, caliper slide pin, you put it and undo it, then you put it on the bottom, Oh, and you also have to undo the line from the um, the hose, sorry, where it's held on to the suspension. You have to take that off too, otherwise it's gonna rip off when you take the caliper off. So let's, let's do that. Now for this, you might need a breaker bar. If you do, don't be afraid to use it. Uh, not on this. This, don't use a breaker bar because this thing bends so easily. Uh, use some WD-40 penetrating uh, fluid or something because this thing, this bracket here can bend very easily. Mine came right off because I've undone it so many times in the past. But for these, don't be afraid to use a breaker bar if you need to. They shouldn't be that tight. So with a wrench and some force, you could probably take them off. But I found myself in need of a breaker bar sometimes, so. As I said, Shouldn't be that tight. All right, once you break them loose, they should come out by hand. Don't mix them up with this one, which you took off of the line, because they're not the same, and you don't want to ruin the threads. All right, so after you've undone those, you just take the caliper and wiggle it, and it should just come right off. Now, this is very important. You do not want to let this hang anywhere. So, what you do, or what I do, is I put it up here against this splash shield here in the back. If you have some sort of bungee cords, or um, actually, it can even reach here. Then you can like balance it on the tie rod and flash shield, kind of like that. We will also need to take off this bracket here because to take off the rotor, the bracket needs to be off. 
All right, so there's gonna be two bolts here. This one and that one right there. This one and this one. These hold this bracket in place and we're gonna have to take those out. And these are 17 millimeter bolts and you are probably going to need a breaker bar for this. So I'm not even gonna try doing it with the wrench. I'm gonna get my extension and my breaker bar and Okay, if I can manage to fit things in here. Might be easier if you turn the wheel this way. And then, there we go. No, oh, that's easier than I expected. All right, now let's do the bottom. Alright, so you want to take those out. Oh, these are some rusty bolts. Wish I had new ones. Okay, don't do that. Um, so let's just take this off. And now, the rotor simply comes off. As you can see, this thing is nasty. It's old. It's seen better days. It's got a lot of rust on it. This is the inside. This is the outside. Um, this is black because I painted it. Um, she's got a lot of rust everywhere. Alright, so if you find yourself in need of some cleanup here, which I uh, desperately need, use some brake clean, or uh, if you don't have some, just use some. Actually, you will need some, so you have to have some. Um, I'll explain later why, but just spray some on here. Get yourself a uh, little brush, uh, nylon, plastic, wire, brass or whatever this is any kind of brush it really won't damage anything with whatever you use and just clean the surface off make it nice and shiny for the new rotor maybe put some paint on it and then let's get the new rotor on so let's get the new rotor and we need the brake cleaner because anytime you install a new rotor it's got uh, oil on it from the machine shop, and what you want to do is get a pair of clean gloves or wash your hands, which I'm going to do because I forgot to get gloves. Um, and you want to spray brake clean on it and clean it off very well. All right, my hands are now clean. So let me get this brake clean right here with my fingertips. Grab the rotor and just. Uh, spray it till it's clean. This is also why it's good to have uh, rubber gloves because I don't want to get this on my hands and I probably will, but I'm stupid, what can I do? Now brake fluid, or not brake fluid, I'm sorry. Brake cleaner evaporates really fast. Simply slide it on. I forgot one thing, it's pretty important. So I'm gonna do it now. better isn't that now let's wait for it to dry I just like to have it nice and painted grab the rotor put this back on and if you want to clean up the bracket and paint it go ahead these here are the caliper guide pins is what they're called and these are supposed to slide around clearly they don't because I am pulling on them, twisting them, and nothing is happening. So, what we're gonna do is somehow try and take these out of here. So, let me show you how I got the guide pins out because that was a huge pain to get out. Not on, on, on the driver's side, it was fine, but on the passenger side, they were so, so stuck. It took me probably half an hour just to get one of them out. Um, the other one came out pretty easy because it wasn't that stuck. Uh, probably took me like five minutes, but the other one was so, so stuck. So let me show you what I did. All right, so what I did is I actually, these are the guide pins. As you can see, they're very, very dirty. It's pretty nasty. I need to clean them up and 
recondition them uh, just to use them before because I bought new ones but I just want to recondition them for for now until I get my new ones so what I did is they were stuck here and here so I bolted this back on backwards and then I used a breaker bar to twist them and loosen them up and then with vice grips I slightly wiggled them back and forth and pulled towards me at the same time so it's that's pretty much it what I could think of um, I couldn't really think of, of something else that would work in this case because they were just so stuck oh on the top one I did use WD-40 and uh, kind of lubricates like I tried sliding the the tip of this on the inside there or not on the inside but on the edge and uh, sprayed a bunch hoping it would sort of lubricate it and it kind of did help um, but just make sure you clean everything up uh, I took the brake cleaner and shoved the little straw in there cleaned everything up until brake cleaner poured out clean or clear and uh, then I painted them obviously and I guess now it's time to put stuff back on all right so you've got your rotor back on um, and now you want to put your bracket oops this is the wrong one okay make sure you put the right bracket back on I painted the, the hub I painted the bracket I will paint the caliper but I want to take it off the line okay I need a lug nut because this is getting annoying uh, there we go all right, so you take your bracket, you line it up with those bolts there, and then you take your bolts and start threading the uh, bracket back on. Oh, whoops, it's a little bit dark there. That's better. All right, I started the, the top. I'm going to start the bottom. I'll spray a little bit of WD-40 on it just because it's, it's really hard to thread it on. And now just take a wrench and do it. Seventy-nine foot-pounds for the front caliper bracket. All right, I just set my torque wrench, so let's torque these down to seventy-nine. That's one, and that's two. Cool. So now all we have to do is take those guide pins and try and recondition them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray them with some WD-40 to uh, loosen up all this dirt and grease and uh, whatever this is and then I'm going to use a uh, wire brush and brush them off really good and then brake clean to finish it up and then, very important, we're going to use some silicone paste and lube these up with silicone paste before and after, much better. All right, so let's get those on. All right, so what you want to do is grab your silicone paste, grab your uh, two of the boots that go on here. Um, here's so you don't lose them. And this is now bone dry inside. As you can hear, it's all metal because you we cleaned it and well I guess there was a little bit of gunk left in there oh well uh, that's okay because it was just leftover silicone paste that didn't come out so you want to get your guide pin and just spread this paste around everywhere on it actually before you do that make sure you get the boot on because now I'm gonna make a mess but be careful to get the boot on the right way because as you can see it's different on each end so the pointy end has to go into the bracket the flat end goes against this little lip right here so make sure you put it in this way try not to make a mess like I did Um, some some of it comes out it's not a big deal but there we go so just put that on you can also put the boot on uh, here and then slide the caliper or the guide pin in but 
really doesn't matter. It just when you're trying to put a lot of uh, silicone paste on, this helps it not come off when you slide it into the uh, caliper bracket. So this should be good. Now let's put it in here. And all you do is just, you don't have to twist it, I'm just twisting it so I can see all sides and make sure I get everything in. And now you press it, and the boot should slide in. If it doesn't slide in, just take this lip off of the, uh, the guide pin, the lip of the boot, take it off the guide pin, put the boot in to let all the air out, and then slide it back on. All right, well, it's a good thing I ordered a new one because this thing is so old it won't stick in here, but this is just for video purposes. As I said, this is not permanent and have a new one on, on the way. Oh, that's better. All right, well, hopefully this is gonna last for a, a, a couple days just until I get the, the new one. So let's do the bottom one. I'm actually gonna do it the other way around. There we go. All right, so now that we have everything installed, we can take our brand new brake pads. Again, link in the description to everything, to to this, because I've I had a hard time finding this, um, to everything, so just check the description. So, let's get these in. Probably shouldn't be touching that part with a uh, greasy glove, but too late now. If you are concerned about it, just spray some brake clean. All right, next up is to compress this caliper. So now that we've compressed this caliper, it is ready to go back on. Make sure you don't twist this hose too much, um, or that you know you have it on uh, the right way. And then simply just put the caliper back on the same way you took it off. Um, just one quick tip: when you compress the calipers, um, make sure that you have enough room in the uh, brake master cylinder for fluid to go back in because I actually overflowed it and then it just dripped everywhere uh, under the car and I completely forgot about that so make sure you have enough room in it uh, don't overflow it because it's really bad for the paint it can actually uh, peel off the paint of the car so I quickly cleaned it up with some brake clean hopefully it didn't do too much damage so just uh, be aware of that now we are ready to put the bolts back on. Just make these snug, there's no need to make them super tight. And that's it. Now, this caliper can still move a little bit, and that's because we compressed it all the way in, or at least I did. So what we have to do now is go in the car and press the brake pedal to bring fluid back into the uh, caliper here. All right, now that we have a firm brake pedal, we can put the wheels back on. Torque down the wheels to 80 foot pounds. And the last thing we have to do now is go for a test drive and see what we did. All right, so now that we went on our test drive and made sure that everything works fine 
and nothing's wrong and we did the job right. That basically completes the job and I hope this video was helpful. It's not something really hard to do and it's really a good thing to check your brakes once in a while and make sure everything is working fine just because you know you want to be able to stop the car when you wish to do so. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful and uh, if you have any suggestions or comments then put them down in the description.